Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Visual Studio Code on your Windows 10 operating system. So let's get started. So to start with, just open your favorite browser and search for Visual Studio Code. And the first link which will appear here will be from code.visualstudio.com. So we are going to click on this link. And once this website is open, straight away you will be able to see this uh, green download button for Windows. So we are going to just uh, click on this green button, which is going to download uh, this uh, executable file and this executable file is around 50 megabytes so i'm going to wait for the download to complete so now this executable file is downloaded so i'm going to just click on this file and minimize the browser and first of all i'm going to click on this run button and then i'm going to just agree with the license terms and conditions and click on next button and this will be the location where visual studio code will be installed on your operating system so if you don't have the good reason to change it, just click on the next button. Now on the next window, if you don't want to create the start menu folder, then you can just check this checkbox, but I'm going to just uh, leave it unchecked and then click on next. And here are some options which you can choose. So if you want to create the desktop icon, uh, just click this option. And then there are some other options also, which I'm going to just uh, check all the options and then I'm going to click on the next button and then click on the install button. Now Visual Studio Code will take few seconds to install so I will wait for the installation to complete and now as you can see uh, the Visual Studio Code setup has been finished and if you want to launch Visual Studio Code after it's installed you can just leave this checkbox checked and then click on finish which is going to launch Visual Studio Code and also you can see uh, this Visual Studio icon on the desktop also. So you can just click on this icon any time and then open your Visual Studio code. So you can see Visual Studio code is now open. Now as you can see here on the left hand side of this editor, you have some icons. So this icon, the first icon is called Explorer and when you click on the Explorer, it's going to open this kind of uh, menu here where you can open your folders or files or anything. So here Visual Studio Code works with the folders. You don't have projects but the folders because it's normally a uh, editor. So if you want to open any folder you can just uh, click on open the folder and then uh, open the folder which you want to open. So let's say I want to create a new folder here and let's say this folder will uh, be named as uh, work and then uh, I'm going to just open this work folder using Visual Studio Code and you can see it's easily opened using uh, Visual Studio Code. If you want to create a new file you can just click on this option or on the file option and then click on the new file option now if you want to search into your uh, files then you can use this search button also so let me create a test file so test dot uh, let's say we want to create a python uh, script so i'm going to just create a test.py file and straight away when you open any file which is related to some uh, programming language and Visual Studio Code is going to detect it, you can see a Python extension is recommended for this type. So if you want to uh, install the Python extension, then you can just uh, click on the Python extension and it's going to provide you the support for the Python extension. So I was talking about the search. So if you uh, want to search in the file, so for example, I'm going to just write uh, print uh, hello world and then uh, just press control S to save your uh, content. So you can press control F to find your stuff inside the current file. So for example, I just want to find out the print uh, statement. So just type print and you can see it's uh, highlighted or if you want to search in the whole uh, folder then you can uh, click on this option and it's going to search for your keyword in the whole folder in which you are working in 
Now the third option here is for the version control. So if you want to uh, use any version control, for example, Git, uh, Visual Studio Code has a very good integration with Git. So this button is for that. Now the next button is for debugging. So let's say you want to debug your Python script. You can uh, click on this option and debug it. And the next button here is for the extensions. So here, when you click on the extensions, you can search for many extensions which are given by the Visual Studio community. So you can see uh, popular extensions are Python extension, C++, ESLint. So there are many extensions here. Also, you can search your, your extensions from here. So let's say you want to just search uh, the extensions for Python. So you can just search for Python and it's going to recommend you these uh, extensions which you can use to uh, develop your Python script. If you want uh, to search for Java, just search for Java and it's going to uh, give you all the extensions related to Java. So this is how you can uh, use Visual Studio Code. Now let me tell you one last thing before I end this video. So for example, you want to open your Visual Studio Code using the command line. So you can just right click on uh, your Windows icon and I'm going to open the command line. And if you want to open your Visual Studio Code using the command line, you can just uh, write code here and then press enter and it's going to open Visual Studio Code using the command line. Now, if you want to open your Visual Studio Code, let's say uh, this is our project, right? So I'm going to right click and I can see it in the Explorer, which is the Windows Explorer, which is at uh, this place. So I can uh, just close it once again and then CD into this folder. So CD and the path in which I want to go and once you are in that path from where you want to open your Visual Studio Code, you can also write code and then this dot, which means to open your Visual Studio Code in this directory, in the current directory. So once you provide this command, this is also going to open the same folder, which is the work folder in the Visual Studio Code, right? So these are uh, some small, uh, simple tricks and uh, tips by which you can uh, you know use visual studio code efficiently now the last tip i want to give here is using the terminal inside your visual studio code so you don't even need uh, this uh, windows terminal from here you can just press control shift p so just press control shift p and then just write toggle integrated terminal and the first option here will be uh, this option which says toggle integrated terminal. So this is going to open the terminal in the current folder inside your Visual Studio Code. So let me maximize uh, this uh, uh, here and you can see the terminal is open inside your Visual Studio Code. So for example, I want to execute my Python script. So I'm going to just say Python and then the test.python script and then press enter, which is going to execute the script and show me the result, which is hello world. So how easy it is, right? So this is how you can uh, use the terminal inside Visual Studio Code. So that's it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I'm going to see you in the next video.